TikTok, welcome back to my channel. So I am kind of known these days as a TikToker, according to the Hollywood Reporter and another major news outlet that is coming out in a few weeks. And as you can see, I'm right now in my normal home kitchen. This is not where you're used to seeing me cook, but this is where I film my TikToks because it's too much to just set up my whole set in order to quickly film TikToks. So I want to give you guys a little behind the scenes look at what it goes into into making a TikTok. First up, let's go with my lights. I have three lights right here. I have one big uh, LED panel over here, super bright. I have another LED panel on the side and then a ring light over here and typically when I'm filming I put my phone with the camera right over here and then I have perfect lighting. All right so the TikTok I'm filming right now is deep fried ice cream. Yes you heard that right we are taking ice cream we are deep frying it. Now the challenge with the TikTok is unlike these YouTube videos that are like five to 15 minutes the TikToks need to be under a minute and they're actually better when they're under 25 seconds so I need to encapsulate an entire recipe into that short amount of time. Here's how I do it. All right, first up, let's get all of our ingredients. We have some vanilla ice cream here, any type will do. And now we're actually gonna do this in parts. Because the ice cream needs to freeze in between the different steps, uh, we are not gonna get all the ingredients yet. We're just gonna get our ice cream, our scissor, and our plastic wrap. And let's also get, oh God, my lights. Okay, the amount of times I open these and then hit the lights down is just, astronomical. Um, <laughs> the volume in this bus is astronomical. If you know what that is, comment down below. All right, I gotta find a pizza, not pizza, ice cream scoop. Bam. All right, got all my equipment and it's time to film the TikTok. All right, so I place my phone over here and then I just start kind of setting up the shots. I got my ice cream over here, got my ice cream scoop and let's prepare. And it is all super quick. So watch, I'm gonna start recording. Go. Scoop! Oh, there's a lot of that. Since I'm moving so fast, I make a lot of fails. Ready? Scoop your ice cream. As you can see, it's a lot of super short, super high energy, and that's like super calm in between while I'm getting ready for the next shot. All right, so the next step in the recipe is that you have to wrap it in some tin foil so you can get it a nice deep freeze. So I'm going to pre-cut the tin foil. I try to take out as many of like the boring, not exciting steps as possible uh, while still being able to fully translate the steps of the recipe. So let's go. Get a sheet of plastic wrap. Ice cream. Ice cream onto the plastic wrap. Roll it up. Repeat with a few more. Bam. Now I'm just gonna repeat this with the rest uh, and I'll see you guys when I put them into the freezer. All right, now I have to put it into the freezer. So I always like to get a shot of my phone in the freezer. Start recording, take my ice cream and go freeze. And usually my phone falls, but got the shot and I'm gonna let these freeze for about an hour or two so they are rock solid and then we're on to the next step. All right, well, apparently I'm terrible at my job because my microphone was clearly not working this clip, but just to summarize it, what I would did is I took my ice cream out of the freezer. Then I filmed the entire process of breading the ice cream until it was all done, got all the shots that I needed, and then it was back into the freezer. All right, it is now time to fry it. So for this, especially since we're gonna be frying for like 30 seconds, I wanna get everything set up. Got my phone over here, it happens to fit perfectly in here. Gonna go grab the ice cream and it's time to fry. I'm now gonna start recording. I'm going to quickly take it out. Now, I made about four of these so that I can make it a bunch of times to get all the shots that I need. So first off, I'm going to be just getting the shot of me adding it into the oil. Ready? Deep fry until golden brown. All right, now that's frying. So we have about 45 seconds to let this fry. So we obviously don't want all the ice cream to leak out. So then we'll try to get some other shots. Maybe it frying like this. And drain out paper towel for happy. I remember. We'll make that work. All right. That was pretty rushed. Now, um, I have my ice cream over here. So I have this one here. I'm going to get the other close up shots that I need after. Let me set this up. Looks good. All right. I'll try to hide the melted ice cream. Give it a try. Mm. All right. Got those shots. Now, the shots that I still need are the close up shots. I kind of got the nice wide shots. I'm now going to fry it again. This time, focusing on getting that nice shot of dipping into the ice cream and also how to fry it pretty far. I think I got it. All right, let's check my phone. Did I get the shot? All right, I think that counts. Got the shot. All right, now I'm working on the shot that makes every video that goes viral go viral, which is where I do the intro, where I throw something behind my back. So I got the ice cream frying over here got 
a thing of ice cream. Over here we got that fry. It is almost done already. I'm going to throw this behind my back and then pick up the deep fried ice cream. All right, that looks good. Are you guys ready for the masterpiece that is putting together one of these TikTok intros? Looks like there's nothing behind me that could break. Are you tired of eating boring ice cream? No, we make deep fried ice cream. And that's the shot. That is how you get the money shot, the perfect way to catch people's attention in a TikTok video. All right, I'm now in my room and it is now time to edit the video. Let me show you how I edit my TikToks. All right, so I edit my TikToks in Adobe Premiere Pro. I drag in all the files that I airdrop from my phone to my computer onto the timeline. They take a little bit to load. And then I just start going in and selecting just the parts that are the good videos. So there's obviously a lot of time before and after. So I just go through, try to find the part where I start. And the exact moment I start is I cut it and delete everything before, go to the end of that clip, and then delete everything after. And I just then repeat that with the rest of the clips. So I go through all of them, delete it. This part is just called cutting. Literally, we're just cutting it to find all the good parts, which are just what you want in the video. You're not doing any styling yet or anything like that. I then go in and delete the little, little, little bits of footage at the ends so that then I can make sure that it is super short, exactly what I need time-wise because TikTok's gonna be so short. And then I go in, make sure the video is in the correct order, export, and watch the video to check that it's good. There you go, that is how I make my TikToks. Here is the final video. Are you still eating boring ice cream? Nah, we make deep fried ice cream. Ice cream onto the plastic wrap, roll it up, freeze, coat in flour, into some egg, breadcrumbs, cover in plastic wrap, deep fry until golden brown. And drain out paper towel. Give it a try. Mm. All right, I'm really happy how it came out. I cannot wait to see how it performs on the app. If you're already following me on TikTok, definitely follow me at Aton and on Instagram at Aton. And if you haven't already, be sure to hit the big red subscribe button down below so you'll be the first to know when I post new videos. And text me, 201-822-9203 to join the text gang. And if you haven't already, be sure to click the big red subscribe button. It's big, it's red, it's free to click so you'll be the first to know when I post new videos. And if you haven't already, be sure to comment down below what other videos would you like to see from me in the future and hit that like button if you're watching. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,